Hey YouTube, so I'm coming here today. It is wash day, and I've been wearing my hair in a roller set, um, and it's getting old. So I had a ponytail today, and I'm gonna do a co-wash and then do a twist out. So I'm gonna use um my Suave Tropical Coconut Conditioner to do the co-wash, and then I'm also going to do the Shea Butter. Cholesterol plus triple actioning formula ooh, <laughs> as a um, deep conditioner. Um, I've been having some issues with my ends being like super dry. So um, I think I told you before that I had that like carrot oil um, by Organic Root Stimulator. So I started putting that on my ends and my scalp. And it's been helping so I'm gonna try to co-wash I did a twist out before and I didn't like it I think because my hair was really dry because um, they're trying to transition my roots are getting longer and my hair is like drying out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section it I'm gonna show you how I section my hair before my co-wash and by the way this is like my second one I did one last week and I really really liked how soft it was so I just take my hair and put it in four braids. Just down the middle or in the middle of each section. And they're probably not going to stay, so I'm going to use some pins and I'll show you what I do with the pins once I get done with all of the sections. How it unravels. I hate that. I'm starting to get a little bit impatient with my relaxed ends. I'm starting to drive me nuts. Not to mention the fact that I trimmed last week. So, or last wash, which was like a couple of days ago. So I'm gonna have these pins that I'm gonna use, and I just put them on the end so that it doesn't unravel. I use these in the shower too and they hold my hair. So just gonna keep doing that and then I'm gonna get in the shower and co-wash my hair. And what I do is take each session, each section and do them um one by one and just shampoo. I got that method from Mop Top Maven and um, it really works. So I'll be right back. Hey, so I just got finished washing my hair and right now I have in um, the cholesterol conditioner. And I just wanted to pop back in here and just kind of show you my roots and have a little bit of a curl. So I'm gonna try to show you that. A little yay anywho I'm gonna go and sit up under my little bonnet dryer for about 10-15 mm, minutes and then I'll come back and show you how I do the twist so I'll be right back okay so I'm back and my hair is detangled with those roots girl and um I am about to twist so <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to do like individual twists because before I did that and I didn't really like it but I kind of want to try it again so um, I think I might do that 
um, and just leave my part down the middle and do that with do a couple of twists with each each excuse me section. Um, I was gonna do bantu knots, but I I'm gonna kind of my friend wanted me to show her how to do them, so I'm not gonna do like one section of my hair in a bantu knot. And I kind of I didn't put any oil in my hair, so I was gonna just use a little bit of my um. My do grow. Just put just a little bit, just to seal. So, what I do for a band tune knot is just kind of comb it out, smooth it out a little bit. And then I take the hair and just twist and keep twisting. And then as you can see, it's getting like really, really smooth. And just twist and twist and twist and twist and all the way down. And I just keep going until it starts to like twist on its own. And just kind of wrap it and keep twisting because the ends are going to unravel. And I just keep doing that until voila. Um, so just wanted to show that because I promised her that I would. But right now I'm going to do some individual twists. And I'm going to use, I have the, um, this Proclaim, sorry foam wrap lotion with olive oil and I'm going to use my Cantu shea butter so I'm just gonna my hair is still like dripping dripping and I like for it to be damp and I like dripping and I'm just gonna put <laughs> a little bit of the mousse just all over this section and rub it through. It smells really good. Now I'm going to take kind of that same little piece that I had before. Smooth it out real good. And put. Sorry slipped off my hand about that much in between my fingers and I'm gonna use perm rods at the end because my hair will definitely come out <laughs> my roots aren't that um, or not my roots but my ends are very slick so I'm gonna Put them. I I tried to use bobby pins. Doesn't work. My ends still slip out. And maybe I'm just doing it wrong. So if you have a better way for me to do it, please let me know. Cause it does not work for me. It does not work at all. So I'm gonna take my paper and wrap it around these ends. And then I'm just gonna roll enough for it to have like a little bit of a curl. And see how it kind of unravels a little bit? I always have to get used to that because I want it to be all tight. And I think I watch too much too many YouTube videos because some of those ladies' hair is so coily that it like it's super tight. <laughs> and I fool myself into thinking that that's how it's going to be. And it's really not. But look. My roots. If you can see them. Sorry. Maybe not. But anyway. Um, I'm just going to do the same thing. Again. On this side. 